week marks the 50th anniversary of the Watergate break in, which would eventually lead to the resignation of President Richard Nixon. Now and only on News 4, our Mark Seagraves goes back to the iconic building with the two D.C. police officers who arrested the five men breaking into the Democratic National Committee headquarters. It was June 17, 1972. The Watergate office complex was home to the Democratic National Committee. Richard Nixon was running for re-election. People have got to know whether or not their president is a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. Paul Leeper was a D.C. police sergeant. John Barrett had only been a cop for two years when they got the late night dispatch for a possible break in at the Watergate. Sitting in the Watergate hotel room that G. Gordon Liddy and Howard Hunt used to oversee the break in, the two retired officers recalled just how tense it was the night they arrested the five burglars. My mind's running the mile a minute. We have our weapons out then. Barrett remembers walking through the dark office when he realized there was someone hiding behind a cubicle. It was about two inches from my face. It startled the hell out of me. I screamed something to the effect, get the f out of there, get your hands up. And I see John in sort of a crouch position with his weapon pointed back towards an area I can't see. And I think John yelled something like, hold it. So I run around to the next cubicle and I jump up on the desk. The two were surprised to find five suspects hiding in that cubicle. I was almost ready to squeeze around off of them and I said, drop it. The tension didn't end there. As Barrett was searching the men, one of the suspects reached into his pocket. A third officer, Carl Schofer, stopped him. Carl grabbed him by his jacket, stuck his 38 in his neck and said, don't go in there again, I want to shoot you. Fifty years later, that one night continues to haunt the two men. Leeper is candid about the lack of recognition they received from their own department. So we received no recognition from our own department for probably the, the biggest burglary case ever made by the Metropolitan Police Department. And both men share frustration with how their role in history has been portrayed in books and movies. They don't care about the truth. Everything. Is, is so wrong, but yet people buy this and people are, are out there as alleged experts telling all about how the break-in occurred and what happened here, and they know nothing about it. They weren't there. Both Leeper and Barrett testified before the Senate Watergate Committee. Leeper retired in 1980, Barrett retired in 89. The third officer who responded, Carl Schofer, died a few years after the break-in. From the Scandal Suite in the Watergate Hotel, Mark Seagraves, News 4. And the Scandal Suite, as you saw, is decorated in Nixon-era memorabilia and furniture. You can spend the night in the historic room for about $1,200.